Hello, everyone. My name is Nima Zirak Nejat. I am the founder and CEO at NZ Technologies. And the topic of my pitch today is touchless interfaces for smart surgery. So there was an unmet need in the current practice of um, surgery um, due to the lack of proper surgeon, in surgeon interfaces during surgical operations. Today, nearly all uh, surgical operations, modern surgical operations, are uh, heavily dependent on medical imaging, like radiology images, um, uh, such as uh, X-ray and MRI. But the, the real problem is that due to the lack of proper uh, interfaces, surgeons, um, they have to um, uh, either delegate the task to an untrained staff or um, scrub out go to the control room, um, like is shown in the pictures here, um, use a mouse and keyboard, and re scrub back to the operating room, which is a you know, timely um, and uh, contamination risky process. So let's uh, uh, consider this question together. What if we could bring the benefits of touchless interfaces to the operating room? So the, the thing is um, for, for vendors who make these um, medical imaging platforms, it's, it's difficult for them to do this change overnight. So our solutions, which we have commercialized today, um, it brings this opportunity um, to all these equipment in the operating room to become touchless. So TIPSO AirPad and HoverTap are two uh, solutions that we have introduced to the market, commercialized. TIPSO AirPad by itself is a remote control for distant interfaces. Uh, it's an FDA approved product. Um, it's, it, it is uh, used for interfaces with, which are not within the reach of the surgeon's hand. On the other side, HoverTap is a technology that basically it's, it's an overlay on top of uh, existing touch screens, converting them into a touchless, touchless experience. So, this is a picture that shows um, a real world scenario for the use of these two products within the surgical space. As you can see, the surgeon is using the air pad uh, at the bedside while remaining sterile, looking at the pictures in front of him. And if he wants to have controls over other equipment in the room, he can use hover tap, um, which is in his hand reach. Um, this is a quick video um, that shows um, the operation. Um, uh, TIPSO AirPad uses um, a novel technology uh, based on electric field sensing, which allows this device to be placed inside the sterile, sterile bags during surgical operations, as we can see in the video here. So um, we hold a, a strong IP portfolio for this um, technology and product uh, over international jurisdictions. Um, as you can see in this video, for example, the surgeon is uh, scrolling over layers of CT scan by simply turning um, you know, his finger over the, the pad. Or this is another example of like, how um, the device is being used at the bedside during an interventional radiology case. So it's intuitive, easy to use. Um, this is an example of our hover tap device, which you can see how um, the surgeon um, or clinicians can, can use this device without touching the screen. Um, by just simply hovering or uh, using hand gestures. We have validated uh, the TIPSO technology uh, in uh, 24 major North American clinical institutions, um, and um, we have uh, published uh, peer-reviewed uh, journal publications. Um, uh, in a variety of uh, cases, it has been used in angio suite and in operating room. Um, let's go quickly over our value proposition. Um, uh, there is hospital outcomes, which um, is, uh, involves um, shorter procedures. So our data shows that using TIPSO during surgical operations by eliminating um, scrubbing in and out, 10 to 15% of the surgery time is, is saved. There is stream-like workflows improvement and improving the qu uh, continuous quality improvement or the so-called CQI metrics. There is, there is also, there's also a physician and patient outcomes, uh, uh, which refers to focused treatments. Surgeons remain, remain focused on the, on, the, on, the, on the patient, no distraction, reduced risk of adverse events, and of course, uh, physician satisfaction. So at the bottom, you can see a case study that we have conducted for a 
for a typical uh, hospital with five operating rooms and average you know, three cases per day, using TIPSO um, can bring a cost saving of $4.3 million per year for five operating rooms, of course, and uh, an additional 585 cases uh, per year. The competition in this space uh, use off-the-shelf and repurposed products that are really made for living room uh, experience. Um, they are uh, cumbersome, uh, difficult to use, um, and they are not really built for the strict requirements in the sterile environment of the operating room. Um, basically, what's happening is that this is the journey that we have had in the past 10 years. Our technologies, our products have been designed by surgeons for surgeons. And in this table, um, we have listed um, some of our competitions um, uh, in terms of uh, ease of use, fluid and precise image control, simple instructions, um, and convenience uh, in terms of manipulating the images. As an example, AR, VR are really popular these days. They are great. Uh, for providing immersive experience for you know, really high quality 3D images, but they suffer from the lack of proper interfaces with these um, uh, immersive images. Um, our business model um, obviously involves uh, selling direct to the hospitals and hiring distributors. Um, the ASP for a, for a TIPSO AirPad device is uh, $10,000, $10, uh, which is uh, you know, a low capital budget. Uh, usually OR managers can place the order, doesn't need to go to the procure procurement process, and there is a $2,500 licensing fee per year as the recurring fee. As for HoverTab, it's cheaper. Um, uh, it's $800 uh, and a licensing fee of $100 per year. So, in total, and considering uh, the, the, the number of operating rooms worldwide and in North America, we are looking at a TAM of $10.3 billion, a SAM of uh, nearly $8, $800 million, and our beachhead market over the next five years of $360 million. And this is our financial projections um, over the next five years. Um, that shows um, where, where we are going. Each column represents the, 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 the one-time fee for the, for the hardware and the recurring um, re revenue um, uh, for both TIPSO and um, uh, HoverTap. Um, our market entry is based on a dual-channel uh, dual strategy. Uh, of course, the uh, first one is licensing uh, the, our IP to major um, uh, medical uh, device manufacturers. Um, we, uh, we have already in agreement and uh, partnership with Shimatsu, Steris, and Barco, and we are in discussion with the companies uh, listed here. Um, in terms of the direct sales, we have had uh, some really good success in the past five years uh, through direct sales and our network of distributors globally. Um, some example of our direct sales to the hospitals are City of Hope here in Orange County and Baker in Florida. Um, over the past six years, um, we've achieved a, a, a good number of milestones, including uh, clinical validation, IP protection, and um, uh, FDA approval for uh, TIPSO AirPad. And of course, uh, safety certification, as you can see listed in the middle of the screen here, for uh, different um, uh, you know, um, uh, market, uh, like Europe, CE, FDA here, and Japan. So uh, we are in really good shape in terms of that. We have had a um, total of $3 million of seed rounds um, and a government uh, support funding of $4.2 uh, million. And of course, um, uh, we, we are uh, running a Series A financing for $5 million, and we are aiming to achieve our revenue to $8.6 million by 2024. I need to mention here um, that uh, our hover tap technology has a broad uh, range of application in other market verticals, such as aviation, elevators, self-service industry, and entertainment. These are all high-touch surfaces that could be converted into touchless. And I must say that uh, our touchless um, uh, hover tap system has already been commercialized in elevator industries, and there are a number of uh, installations already. Um, management team, I, um, Nima Zuraknejad, I have a PhD in electrical engineering uh, with more than 22 years of experience um, in uh, oil and gas, uh, mining, automotive, and healthcare industries. Uh, I used to be one of the founding members of Motion Metrics, um, uh, which was uh, recently sold to Vera Esco for $200 million. 
Um, another example is Bruce Kaleski. Um, he's our VP of sales and marketing with more than 30 years of experience in medical devices um, and formerly involved with, uh, with Steris. Uh, our CTO, Pranav Saxena, who is here also, we have a booth uh, upstairs, um, is a very experienced uh, engineering physicist, um, a capable person in terms of bringing all these technologies into commercialization. Our board of directors um, uh, are strong, uh, very experienced uh, uh, individuals. Um, as an example, Michael Fish, um, listed here, he is the president at Pacific Surgical which is the largest um, surgical equipment supplier in Canada. And uh, we, are, we, are, we are honored to work with our clinical advisory firm, uh, advisory uh, group here, uh, which uh, with Dr. Jason Salsamendi, um, he's at City of Hope. He's been instrumental in the past several years in bringing a lot of uh, uh, technologies of TIPSO into reality. Um, we are here for a $5 million uh, raise. Uh, of course, this, this funding is uh, matched by, uh, by the Business Development Bank of Canada for 100%. And this is the list of use of proceed um, that we have. Um, and I would like to mention that NC Technologies um, is dedicated to revolutionize um, the, the way surgeons interact with uh, imaging and equipment in the, in the operating room. Uh, we have a dedicated team um, and we are um, uh, set our goals to, to achieve this uh, and I would like to thank you very much for attending this session. Thank you.